So let's start, obviously, with tomorrow's big debate. Uh, take a look at what Donald Trump tweeted yesterday. Quote, if dopey Mark Cuban of failed benefactor fame wants to sit in the front row, perhaps I will put Jennifer Flowers right alongside of him. Afterwards, Jennifer Flowers, who infamously had an affair with uh, then Governor Bill Clinton, sent a text message to the New York Times saying, quote, yes, I will be there. Can you confirm if Jennifer Flowers is going to be at the debate as a guest of Mr. Trump? No, I cannot confirm that. And I can't believe how easily baited the Clinton campaign was. Basically, Mr. Trump was saying, look, if Mark Cuban's going to send out these texts that say the humbling at Hofstra and this is his big downfall, then uh, Mr. Trump was putting them on notice that we could certainly invite guests that may get into the head of Hillary Clinton. Uh, but we have not invited her formally, and we don't expect her to be there as a guest of the Trump campaign. I, I did think it was really odd just one day after Hillary Clinton was rebuffed by a Democratic mayor of Charlotte to please not come to Charlotte, not divert resources and not come at this time, then they exercised poor judgment the very next day by putting out a statement by the Clinton campaign uh, about Jennifer Flowers and what, what this meant with Donald Trump, that he shows he's easily provoked. No, the easily provoked people here were the Clinton campaign. So it's well, very poor judgment. But look, we're going to talk about the issues that face America. That's what the debate is. I can understand why Hillary Clinton wants a billionaire in the front row. That's just another Monday night for her. But we're going to talk. We're taking the case directly to the American people tomorrow night. Just as a point of fact, I think both Trump and Clinton were talking about visiting Charlotte, and the mayor said that they didn't have the resources for either one to visit. But I think it's curious, and probably a lot of viewers are wondering, you think that what's odd is the Clinton campaign's reaction to Donald Trump tweeting about somebody that her husband had an affair with decades ago, not the fact that Donald Trump tweeted something about someone that the nominee's husband had an affair with decades ago. It, it seems odd. It seems odd that they would give it life and breath since you just said three times in a row that Governor Clinton had an affair with her. Uh, I didn't say it, but now a lot of American who did, Americans who didn't know who Jennifer Flowers life, was. Not? Donald Trump gave it life. No, he, He's the one that he brought basically it up. Well, and they could have left it at that. What he said was, if she's going to do this as a way to bait him, then perhaps, perhaps, if it was in his tweet, perhaps he'll invite Jennifer Flowers there and or have her sit in the front row. But, you know, I, I also just want to say, Jake, that this, the particular presidential, this year's particular presidential debates are incredibly important so that we can hear the visions of these two candidates. Donald Trump is out on the stump every single day. He was in Roanoke last night. He was in four or five swing states just this week giving policy addresses, talking about issues. Hillary Clinton is running negative ads against him. You know what should be fact-checked? Hillary Clinton's campaign two weeks ago saying she was going to become more uplifting and optimistic and aspirational. Where was that? Where has that gone? It's negative ad after negative ad. It's, it's negative pieces of mail, phone calls, get out the vote programs. We're just not going to do that. We're taking our case directly to the American people tomorrow in this debate and, may I add, every single day out in the stump. But Kellyanne, it's hard, to, it's hard to argue that Donald Trump hasn't been negative about Hillary Clinton. I, I want to ask you, in fact, is he planning on bringing up Bill Clinton's marital infidelity during the debate itself? This is something he has discussed uh, on Fox News Channel and, uh, and in other places. And he's some, it's something that he's talked about in speeches. Mr. Trump will answer the questions as they are asked by Lester Holt, the moderator, and he has a right to defend himself against anything that uh, Mrs. Clinton, Secretary Clinton, may say in response. There, there's, no, there's no plan to do that. I'm not going to reveal what we've been doing uh, in our debate conversations, but the fact is that he has every right to defend himself. You know, he, he is always, he's always constantly attacked, and then the moment he counterpunches, and then people are just shocked. That, that he would do that, that, he would try to defend himself. Um, but he will answer the questions asked. We certainly hope that the questions go to policy, answer the questions that the American people have. They deserve and expect these candidates to be talking about the issues. You know, ABC Washington Post came out with a poll overnight, Jake, that shows the issues that motivate Americans. They want these candidates to talk about the economy, terrorism, health care, immigration, national security. Uh, and so, Mr. Trump is ready to have that conversation. 